<laughs> this FCA Game of the Week is sponsored by Patriot Renewable Fuels. Ethanol kicks gas. Senior night stirs plenty of thought and emotion, plenty of smiles and tears as players, coaches, and parents celebrate some memorable times in young lives. And of course, after the ceremony, it's to the business of basketball. And that's the story for the Anawan Bravettes as they take on Henry. All-Stater Selena Van Hefty sits this one out with a slight ankle injury. She's the Bravettes' most vocal cheerleader. That's Sierra Davis from a tough angle. Anawan is on top to stay. Later, Megan Foes goes cross-court to Dominique Davis for the triple. And the Bravettes keep rolling. Sierra Davis to Maddie Jackson as she rattles in the corner three. Anawan is on top 11-0. Sierra Davis continues her fine play all over the floor, owning the offensive glass here. Soon after, it's Davis to Davis. Dominique to Sierra for three the old-fashioned way. And this one is all Bravettes. Morgan Van Hefty dips into the paint for the mid-range jumper. It's 24-2 through one quarter. In the second quarter, more for the home team. The senior, Megan Foe, strong on the rebound and the putback. Then Jackson waits, and she scores. It's 30-4, Bravettes. Anawan continues to click. Dominique, the pretty dish to Jackson for two more points for the home team. Then the Bravettes use the entire floor. Morgan Van Hefty ahead to Dominique Davis. It's 36 to four, and they are still on fire. Sierra Davis to Paige Randall. She scored and she is fouled. Time ticking down in the half. Sierra Davis pumps in the triple. It's 41 to eight at the intermission. Lots of playing time all around in the third and fourth quarters. Dana Bailey spots up with the soft touch there. Then it's Taylor Miller finding an open Bailey for two more. More Bravettes getting into the scoring column. Rachel Peterson connects on the long two. And then Peterson, she comes up with an assist, delivers the entry pass to Miller for two more points. The Bravettes continue to share the ball nicely. This time, Bailey to Kayla Dunphy for the bucket. And Bailey also has the stroke from beyond the stripe as the Bravettes win 67 to 27. All part of the building process for what could be a special month ahead. I mean, I love playing with these girls. It's what I look forward to in my day. And it's nice to see that we got depth to just help us out when we need it. Tell me what makes uh, your team go and some things that you love about it that you're able to do consistently. There's always games where people step up when we need them to. I mean, Selena's usually always there for us, but with her injury and all tonight, we just have people fill roles when we need them to. Mm -hmm. Talk about, too, I mean, what practices are like for you guys, too. I mean, how much do uh, you think the girls get stretched there to, to prepare for all these uh, these game nights, too? We try to keep the intensity up at practice, so then we're always improving. We don't want to be at a point where we're at a standstill. We always want to be improving ourselves whenever we can. Mm -hmm. These moments fly by. I mean, uh, you know, do you guys take time to celebrate what's uh, what's going on in the moment, or you say, ah, we can do that after the season? Um, I, don't, I don't really focus about it right now. I just take every game as it comes and just cherish the time we get spend as a team. Mm -hmm. What do you think is going to be the focus down the stretch too? Some things that the uh, coach is going to communicate to you guys? Um, just to maintain focus and stay there mentally throughout the games and not make stupid turnovers because if we're there mentally we should be good to go. Mm -hmm. Tell me where experience fits in that you guys have been down this road so many times, been so deep in, turn in the postseason and stuff. Yeah, um, we want to make a bigger finish than we did last year obviously. And we just, if we keep our focus there, we'll be good. It means a lot to us because if you, as you can see, like once we uh, get the lead secure, our subs come in and we're really excited to get everyone in. So if you see us on the bench, we're like screaming and mm -hmm. getting everybody in the game. And that's like one of our main goals when we're talking. How cool is it to celebrate those girls who work so hard in practice and create matchups for you and scout team stuff? It's great because it gives them confidence and it gives them the time that they deserve and how much they work and it pays off for them. Mm -hmm. What's been the pleasure of this team, you know, to, to, to come into this program and, uh, you know, not only the, the way that uh, you guys rack up wins, but just being around each other? 
Um, I think we've created like a family atmosphere, and I f that feels great because at practice we're always laughing with, you th with, uh, with each other, mm -hmm. and we just love being around each other, and it's great when we're at school because we help each other with our schoolwork, and we just do everything together. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you think the focus is going to be. We're down the stretch here. Things are going to be wrapping up here pretty soon. What are some things the coaches really communicating to you guys as far as uh, maintaining and getting better at? Sticking together and playing as a team, getting everyone scoring and not just one person because we are missing a big part of our team right now, and that's Selena. So we're all trying to step up our game to create more of a more vicious team all together. I mean, it also happens to be my 100th win. I don't know if you know that. So it was nice to get that um, and thank the girls for that because they're responsible for, the, for you know, that milestone. Um, but it, we've had a couple of these games, and it's nice to get the other girls in. They work real hard in practice. Um, they're key to what we do. We've always valued our bench. And... Um, you know, in practice, if we don't have them, they're, they're a crucial part of our team, and they've been preparing us, you know, in years past, and they're continuing to do so. Really in the stretch drive now, too. What's your message to the girls as you finish up things in the conference, and then uh, what lies beyond that, too? Well, we're playing very good basketball right now. We just kind of want to maintain it. Um, we actually talk about getting 1% better each game that we go out there, uh, so just a little bit better at a time. Uh, we've been cleaning up our game, maximizing our, our attempts at the basket, and when that happens, we have good shooters, so they've been knocking them down. And, uh, you know, hopefully we just continue on the route we're on. How much of a pleasure is it just to be around these? And do you find yourself taking time to, to uh, embrace that or say, no, nah, I'll, I'll think about how great it was uh, in, in a few weeks? Well, we try to. We're trying to live in the moment. Um, you know, Coach Corwin and I were talking a little bit last night that no matter where we go in life, uh, this this could be the best team that we ever coach. And uh, we're trying to enjoy every minute of it. And it, it is. It's a joy to be around these girls because they work very hard for it. Mm -hmm. What has been consistent most nights? Some things that, you know what, uh, this is going to happen every night you, your, your ladies take the floor. Um, every night I know that they're going to fight for each other. And that's that's one of the coolest things. Um, you know, they play together. They, they genuinely care about each other. And, uh, you know, it doesn't matter if we're down 20 points early or, or, you know, 30 points early. I know that at the end of the game, we're going to be we're going to be in striking distance because they just never stop battling. Hey, Anawan coaches and athletes, remember, we've got FCA on your campus meeting on Wednesday mornings before school. If you're interested in information on Fellowship of Christian Athletes, check out our two websites at www.fca.org or illawafca.org.